someone that I and many streamers have been working with for years, someone who was also employed at a large company in the industry, has targeted and manipulated girls specifically in my community by falsifying a romantic and sexual relationship with me, leaking privileged information he gathered from his job, as well as threatening to harm himself if these girls turned against him. He is well networked in the industry. He knows many streamers. He has helped us with many things. This was someone that we were genuinely grateful for their help. A few months ago, um, a few girls in my community came forward to me with some concerns and asked to speak to my manager. They proceeded to send my manager countless screenshots and videos of their conversation with him, proving the lying and manipulation that was going on. So basically, he would reach out to girls that he knew were like in my chat or viewers of mine. He would approach them. And because of his connections with streamers and the company he worked at, he seemed like a very trustworthy individual. He would then tell the girls that he's suicidal and deals with mental health issues, which of course would garner him a lot of sympathy. And again, these girls are so sweet. So of course they would hear him out. Um, and then once he felt that he gained their trust enough, he would start sharing these photoshopped Discord conversations with me. At, like he would share it with them, but they were of me and him, as well as making up like wild stories about me. He acted like he knew and hung out with me and my friends in person. This is someone I've never met. I've never hung out with them, let alone had any relationship with past talking about only work-related things. Okay, I gotta actually defend Pokimane here. And whether you like her or not, this is something that is beyond indefensible, and this is something that should never happen to anybody. Like, imagine being so sick and twisted that not only do you lie about and fake a relationship with someone, but you use said fake relationship to try and con and manipulate other women in your favor. And it gets even worse because this guy, through his manipulation, actually threatens self-harm. If any of these women came forward that right there is more than a telltale sign that this individual definitely needs help and needs to be locked away from any access to the internet because no one deserves this type of treatment what i'm about to say next may be a hot take but that's just honestly how i feel you're a fucking piece of shit if you try to suicide bait in order to manipulate someone into your favor and also imagine trying to send fake images of Pokimane to those girls to try and get explicit images from them. Like, how do you even remotely think that something like that is a good fucking idea? And aside from all of that, this right here would make you look like a fucking cheater as well, because why would you claim to be in a relationship, yet you approach other women that isn't your girlfriend to try and get inappropriate images from them? That right there is something that really truly cannot be defended. To Pokimane and to anyone that was affected by the situation, you have my deepest apologies and I hope that things turn out better for you guys. And this right here is something that nobody should ever have to go through regardless of whether you're a man or a woman. And that right there just also shows that creep behavior like this needs to be called out. People like that not only do they need to do better and mind their own fucking business, but they need to get help. Big time.